I think there's a point where tarot can become too much and I've seen it on tarot tube. I've seen it where people are like, I just became obsessed with it. Hey everybody, the following is some old footage that I had from the summer that I recorded right after I did my tarot consumerism vortex video that I'll have linked down below. And this is just the beginning of my thoughts. I do have another video planned to share with you this journey and how my feelings have changed about tarot consumerism and my tarot purchases. So strap in, this is a fun one. There's some unboxings here and I really go into my personal feelings. And again, they are my personal feelings. You may not be feeling this way. It's okay, whatever way you're feeling, it's okay. I'm just sharing my journey with you. And I really encourage all of you to give me your comments down below on how you feel about this subject in our community. Hey there, Cardomancers. April here on Tarot and Witchery. This is gonna be a little bit different of an unboxing. If you watched my, a couple videos ago, I did something on tarot consumerism, what I'm calling my personal tarot consumerism vortex that I am working my way out of. And on there I had said that I would not be buying in September. And then after I like put that video up and scheduled it, all of these came in the mail. <laughs> and I don't even know what these are. That's, I don't even know what decks these are. I have a vague idea because I have a list of pre-orders and Kickstarters and stuff like that, but I, I don't even know. So I thought I would do something a little different. I thought I would pack these up in my trusty backpack here and take all of you over to the coast with me today. We would go visit my favorite coffee shop and um, and then I would take you to the ocean and kind of process. I would open these on camera and process, you know, how I'm feeling, how I'm, yeah, I need to work through this. I need to work, I'm having really weird feelings, like a lot of shame about getting four decks in the mail at once that I don't even know what they are. And honestly, I, I'm not trying to shame anyone because I'm totally a collector and I'm into collecting, but right now I'm moving into a season in my life where I need to shift things so that I can do some personal work. And all of this is kind of a distraction, not kind of, this This is a distraction. So let's go over to the coast together. This is new. Look, I got my selfie stick in the mail. So I'm going to take you in the woods with me. I'm going to take you over to the ocean. I can do this a little bit more vlog style. And then we will, we will cut these open over there and see what lies within. I remember being really anxious when I was driving over to the coast. As soon as I saw the ocean, some of it started to dissipate. I was excited to go to my favorite restaurant. But upon getting there, I got to the door and found that they were closed. I was feeling really fragile and just really wanted my regular stuff. But I regrouped and found a restaurant next door with lovely food and kind of got into the idea that this was an adventure that I was taking. The Oregon coast is actually really dangerous. I love these signs that they have up that remind you just how dangerous this is. This isn't the type of beach that you just hang out on and sun yourself, but I love this little walk down to this area because I can really watch the waves crashing and just feel the power of mama ocean and it just kind of grounds me. This is really what I needed. I just needed to spend some time with the ocean and kind of think a little bit about why I was feeling so shameful about all of this. I did some breathing down at the beach and just let the ocean waves carry out to see all of the ickiness I was carrying inside and it helped me to really clear my head. From there, I drove over and headed over to one of my favorite places to go, this special creek in the forest where I knew I would be able to ground and open up some of these decks and just kind of get a feeling for what is really important to me. Nothing sets me right quite like natural, clean running water and trees. I could hold my little mic like this. I'm out here on this rock outcropping looking out, um, but it's awfully loud here. It has been such a journey to get here. There have been so many 
uh, missteps and just weird things that have happened today, but I'm trying to take it all in stride and I have my stuff out here. I think I'm going to go ahead and open up one of my decks because I wanted to be sitting on this rock, <laughs> really feeling grounded and see what's in here and see what comes up for me. Um, I think I'm kind of most intrigued by this, this odd package right here. I am feeling a little better, even just with today's mishaps. I feel like it has gotten me to um, just be a little disarmed about this whole process. And I now remember what this is as I saw it in here. So interestingly enough, I thought I purchased the, the size with the guidebook. I'm a little bit um, dis dismayed uh, by that, but I'm. let's just go ahead Take a look at this deck. And it does not look like a real copy. So that's disappointing to me. It's, you can see why I chose it. It's very me. Anyway, so again, it just makes me feel like I probably rushed into buying this. And this is what I got. I got something that's not real. The whole energy behind acquiring this deck was... Oh, that'd be cool too. It just, it wasn't as sacred as I want my purchases to be. It wasn't as thoughtful as I want my purchases to be. And I feel like, you know, the whole, this, this manifestation of it is, is very expressive of that experience. But again, I feel like this is emblematic of, of the energy I put into acquiring this deck. And so my thoughts right now as I'm walking the trail are that I'm sort of measuring my experience of this natural beauty all around me and the joy that I have from being with the stream and the trees and the ferns and just everything this does for me against like getting a deck. <laughs> and it just doesn't compare. It doesn't compare for me at all. Now I love both things. Um, so again, I'm brought around to finding a way to integrate my magical practice, my tarot practice even. Actually, my magical practice is already pretty integrated into the environment. But to bring tarot into the wilds with me more. Um, to find some way to merge these two things. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so pretty here. Like, this is amazing. These... These big trees. I wish you could smell this. I have a cracked lens. So, it's just, it's, it's so beautiful. This is such a gift to be able to live here, to be a part of Oregon, which is just such a magical place. Yeah, so, so right now I just find myself saying like, I know it's gonna be winter soon and I won't be able to do this as much. Uh, and and there's times for inward practices but yeah I just I find myself like why why like you're missing out on other divinatory practices yeah I feel like I'm I'm missing out on my ability to you know to enjoy divining omens and signs in the wilderness and symbols and collecting tree sap and doing all these sorts of things that truly align with my soul on other dimensions. I think there's a point where tarot can become too much and I've seen it on tarot tube. I've seen it where people are like, I just became obsessed with it. I have to do this. Sorry you guys, I'm not used to using one of these things. Yeah, where people are like, tarot became my everything. It's all I wanted to do, you know? It, it just became this consuming thing. And for me, uh, my soul is just not allowing that to happen. Yeah, my soul is like, listen to the sounds of the waters, you know? Look at this incredible rock. This incredible little treasure here. There's so much magic here. There's so much to be divined out of this. There's so much calibration of the soul and the spirit to be found in this moment, in this place. So I'm going to 
climb up here. Kind of the seat under this tree. Kind of tune in, open another deck, and see what's said. I don't have my mic on, and I hope that you can hear that chipmunk talking to me in the background. Um, I feel really nice and grounded right here on the earth. I always like getting things from Etsy. A little thank you. Thank you, April. It was about November of last year that I kind of started down this road of wild abandon. Like, I'm just going to go ahead and just dive into getting the decks that I want. And up until that point, I had been very slow and deliberate. Um, really cool box. This is the Brady Tarot. Look at that beautiful gilding on there. It's a matte gold. I love gilding, you guys. Gina, these are interesting. I cannot imagine that if you riffle shuffled, you would like these. The art on this is exquisite. The line work on this is gorgeous. It's a rose petal, but it's not too sticky. Like, I, I feel like I could shuffle this. This is a Martin made me do it. That's right. I was on Martin's Instagram, and I saw this, and then I went over and saw that he was talking about it. This is the Martin made me do it. You know, and I'm not super into animal decks, but this speaks to me. It's a it's a combination. You know, look, there's trees, bones, there's all just all sorts of stuff. It's just this is a nature deck. Look at this tower. Gosh, sorry about that. I'm not on even ground as you can see. Just beautiful. Um it's interesting being out here in nature, being able to have my hands on the ground and just feel this there's so much organic matter. I don't know if you could see this just packed in here. Moss and organic matter. I feel really positive about this purchase. It's from an artist. And it's it's from a small creator. I think that really... I feel good about this. But I also am sitting on the earth right now. And so I'm just feeling really good. I don't feel guilty about this purchase. Yeah, I I love this deck. I think it's beautiful. I look forward to really getting into it. Uh, I'm, I'm thrilled about this. I feel like this was something very positive. This is I've been really wanting to get into like less people-based decks, so this feels like a, a good positive decision. Heading back down the trail, I'm reminded that where you start is not where you end. Where I started today, I was very stressed out about this. And now by actually turning towards it, I feel as though I'm getting a better feel for what's important to me in a deck, what's important to me in life, and how I can approach that responsibly as I move forward. If you made it this far, do me a favor and leave me three emojis down below that tell me how you feel about your current deck purchases. Or go ahead and let me know what your journey has been like with purchasing and consumerism and how you feel about being a collector or a non-collector.